Hi, I'm Philip Bailey, and you're watching Night Trash on WTBS. And after this message, you're going to see Easy Lover with myself and Phil Collins. Don't go away. Night Tracks on Superstation WTBS. During a recent Night Tracks interview, we asked Philip Bailey about the concept and filming of his Easy Lover video. It was a collaborative thing between George, um, I'm sorry, Jim Yukich, who was the director, and Phil and myself and Paul Flatters. Um, we had gotten some fabulous scripts for the uh, video piece, but both agreed that we needed to do some type of live performance clip also within it. And um, because Phil was going to begin his solo project the next day, um, it made more sense to just go with, with that. And we, we talked about it, and I guess the, the whole, it was intriguing to the public in general, just how, me, you know, what kind of guy, you know, I am, and how, what our relation, working relationship was like. And it just worked. What we decided to do was, I didn't see Phil, I hadn't seen Phil in six weeks since we did the project. And they kind of kept us apart from one another. And I hadn't, so when he comes in on camera, on the video, and that's the first time I see him. So it, everything was real natural and we got it, so we didn't have to try to come up with any kind of plot or anything except for certain little things that we suggested, like the, the little gag with the um, Earth, Wind, Fire costume and the whole thing. Uh, but other than that, man, you know, we were just enjoying each other's company and we were singing down the song, refreshing ourselves with the lyrics because we hadn't sang the song since we did it. And they had the mic on and so we, they threw it in there on us on the video, so it, it all came out really nice. Don Henley's nine and a half years with the Eagles gave him the experience he needed to build his own successful solo career. Here's the Boys of Summer. When Night Tracks returns, you'll see the pop duo that used to belong to a group called The Executives, but now on their own, they're making it big. Formerly members of the executives, Andrew Ridgely and George Michael have made it big with Wham! Here's Careless Whisper. Prince, Foreigner, and the new one from the Steve Miller Band. You're watching Night Tracks, the show that sends you the best in pop, rock, rhythm and blues, and everything in between. And this hour, set your sights on Glenn Fry, Prince, The Police, plus the newest from the Steve Miller Band. But first up, the comeback hit from one of rock's tried and true bands. Here's Foreigner with I Want to Know What Love Is. Coming up next on Night Tracks, the hot new video of the week. Don't miss it. The Steve Miller Band first appeared on the scene in 1968 with their debut album, Children of the Future. Their latest album, Italian X-Rays, utilizes the latest in musical technology. As Steve Miller puts it, it provides a new dimension to the ever-growing marriage of technology and music. Here now with the new video of the week is the Steve Miller Band with Bongo Bongo. At Night Tracks, we'd love to hear your comments and suggestions, so drop a line to Night Tracks, care of WTBS 1050 Techwood Drive, Northwest, Atlanta, Georgia, 30318. That's Night Tracks, care of WTBS 1050 Techwood Drive, Northwest, Atlanta, Georgia, 30318. Who could be more capable to set a song on fire than a guy named Fry? From the movie Beverly Hills Cop, here's Glenn Fry, where the heat is on. Coming up on Night Tracks, the talented lad from Trinidad and his second top ten hit. Born in Trinidad, Billy Ocean's talents have enabled him to travel far. Here he is with Loverboy. <laughs> 